okay? And then, if I come along and I, and I know someone's teaching a lie, I know they're teaching lies, and I, and I recognize this, I discern this, and I say, Father, what do you want me to do? And the Father says, do this, do this, do this, and then I do it in the hopes that the person will turn and repent, and then they don't. Hey, I've got nothing else to do with that person. Nothing else to do with them. Period. Okay? When Peter sinned, Peter was sinning. He was sitting at the table eating uh, forbidden meats with the Gentiles. And the Jews walked in, the Judaizers from Jerusalem walked into the room, and Peter backed away from the table. See? He didn't want to be seen eating, okay, with these Gentiles. He backed away. And Paul stood up and said, Peter, come over here. Come outside. I need to talk to you. No, he didn't do that. Paul rebuked him to the face, the Bible says in Galatians. Okay? Because Peter had to be withstood in front of all the people. See? And that's why the Lord had me make that video. Because, see, Jan is poisoning the sheep. Jan is poisoning those people who read the Bible five minutes a day. Okay? So they rely upon a man like Jan to come along and say, this is what the Bible is saying. This is what it means. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, so they believe that and they think they're comfortable, okay, in their wickedness. They, they feel comfortable in the fact that they, they don't really have to know the Bible. They can just listen to a voice. So here comes old Satan or he sends one of his demons in to speak to them nice soft words. To speak to them nice soft things, okay. Things that you can't back up with the word of God, see. Like the voice that's speaking to Jan Bashaw. See, you can't back that voice up with the Word of God. This is serious business, okay? We're coming up on a time when persecution is going to be breaking out in this land. My wife and I are suffering persecution right now for speaking the truth. Hallelujah. We will continue to speak the truth. If you don't like it, turn it off, okay? But just show yourself and know when you go look in the mirror that you like a lie. Like you like lies. You don't want to follow the liar. You go ahead, okay? But you're going to the lake of fire. And that's a fact. But you don't really believe in the lake of fire, see? You really don't believe the Word of God, do you? See? And you can say, oh, all men are evil against me. You can say, oh, you're an angry man. Oh, you're this, oh, you're that. Oh, I don't care. It doesn't bother me a bit, see? Humility does not mean you walk around just, oh, I'm so humble. Oh, let me just have humility. That's not humility. That's false humility. When underneath a person that has false humility, they're like a raging, roaring, just beast ready to just chew and chop your head off. Okay? Because we've dealt with those people. False humility. Oh, they're so humble on the outside. But inside, they're, they're just a devil. Just a religious devil inside. You have to understand that we're not playing patty cakes. Okay? In the spiritual realm. We're fighting a war here on this earth and the war is for the souls of men and our brother wrote us a letter about the souls of men that's right but see if you give people lies my brother they don't follow okay they might you, you, you give them a lie and then they think they're saved and they're not really saved see we want to bring people to Christ the Holy Spirit draws them in and then we we preach the word to them and then we give them the truth and the Holy Spirit brings conviction of their condition before God and then they repent and they're saved and then we teach them how to pray and we, we make them a disciple of Christ and then we instruct them in the Word of God how to read the Word and, and how to study the Word you know, the biggest thing about the Word of God, people say, I can't understand the Bible. I can't understand the Bible. Therefore, I'm not going to read the Bible because I just can't make any sense out of it. Who told you you had to make sense out of it? See, that's a lie from hell. Who told you you had to make sense out of the Bible? You don't. You have to believe the Bible. That's it. Believe it. When you believe the Word of God, that it's God's Word, and you read it, the Holy Spirit will draw okay, out of the words you're reading and plant them into your heart and bring life to your spirit. And the Word of God will well up in you like a mighty river ready to come out. Hallelujah.
See, there's the written word, there's the rhema word, okay? But the rhema word, okay, that's that revelation word. That word can be backed up with the written word, see? If you can't back up the rhema word, you think you're getting, you're listening to a false demon. You're listening to a demon who is false. You're listening to an, just an evil, foul spirit from the nether world. That's what you're listening to. Okay? Now, if you have a revelatory, uh, the revelation of God, the Spirit of God brings a revelation to your spirit, man. And it registers in your mind. And you know, ooh, man. And then you can go to the Scripture, wham, and there it is. See? And you know you can back it up. That's why we have this word today. That's why we have the Bible today. See, look, look. There's my Bible right there. See, that's why we have the Bible today. That's why we got it today. See? So that we can back up. We can check these things out that people are saying and say, Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a false teaching. You're saying this and this and this. And the Bible doesn't even say that. Like the two witnesses. That teaching is so prevalent. Moses and Elijah, or Elijah and Enoch. Where in the world does it say that in the Bible? It doesn't say that. See? So instead of believing something that's not true, we just believe it's two witnesses. Hallelujah. That could be two witnesses in New York City, two, two witnesses in Chicago, or in Albuquerque, New Mexico. See? Or two witnesses in, in Madison County. Two witnesses anywhere. See, that's biblical. Because God says in Isaiah 43, He says, Ye are my witnesses. Hallelujah. That I am God. Hallelujah. See? That's what the Bible says. So I can believe that. I can stand on that. I know it's true. I don't have to run and say, Oh, Moses and Elijah are coming back. Moses and Elijah are coming back. Oh, they're coming. Moses and Elijah are coming. You know, focus all my attention on that. And then one day, the New World Order with the Illuminati boys, bam, they got a Moses and Elijah coming in the clouds. And you're going, yeah, yeah. And then they point you to this guy, and he looks so suave and so smooth and so uh, debonair. Yeah, and you follow that guy. Oh, and he's such a sweetheart, huh? He's so sweet. He talks so smooth. He looks so nice. He talks soft all the time. But he's talked stern, too. See? And you follow that guy... And you follow him, and then you end up, at the end, persecuting the true, and then you fall right into the pit. See, there's coming a world ruler. They call it, everybody says, that's the Antichrist. The Antichrist, see? But what about all the Antichrists around us right now? All those people who deny Jesus Christ. All those people who hate Jesus Christ. All those people who shake their fist in the face of Christ. And say, no, I will not follow you. I will not do what your word says. I will not do that. See? What about all those antichrists? See, they're all around the true believer. All around us. But see, God said in His word, He, he, he said, Jerusalem's going to be inhabited like, and there's going to be a wall of fire around us. See, Jerusalem means city of peace. It's what I tell you from Jeremiah. It says, God says, I've made you a defense city. Hallelujah, see? Don't you think God's made His people today a defense city? We are a defense city. Now, the devil might break through a little bit and hit us every now and then. Praise God, when he does, we get up. Hallelujah. We shake it off. We're not going to be defeated. We're going to press on to the mark of the high call of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. He is the faithful witness. We must follow Him. Don't be duped by the false teacher who says, Oh, you don't have to really believe the Word of God. You don't really have to follow it. You know, only the red letters are the Word of God. You know, only the red letters. You know, only the red letters. Well, let's, let's look at some of those red letters. See? Only the red letters are the Word of God. You know, look at some of those red letters. you got to follow them, too, you know. And I, I'm mocking the false teacher. I'm mocking you. See? Because you are to be mocked. You are to be mocked. Okay? See, the Lord Jesus said... Hallelujah. I had to put my glasses back on. Praise God. Hallelujah. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Hallelujah. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Hallelujah. Praise God. 